The Night of Forbidden Love and Dangerous Obsession Chapter 1 There exists a deadly war raging between vampires and dark mages. Only a woman with extra cash and no identity was ready to change everything. A woman with turquoise eyes and luscious curves in her best friend's fragile basement. Her life dangles between the hearts of the vampires and their desire for revenge. When she was just 13, Anna Andrews was a pimp and an enforcer protecting mankind from the handsome werewolf sightings. Her life is turned upside down in an incredibly ordinary town, where Duncan Tremine has been searching for her phone number. Dangerously handsome and imposing, Duncan was more powerful with his entourage. But in the shadows of the night, 500 banshee women surrounded him and now he hides from all sorts of weird stuff. With little parental supervision and a very modern face, the woman with turquoise eyes and luscious curves cursed them all for centuries. It was her burden rather than a maid who, though hot as hell, is just a mite overprotective. 700 years later she recognizes her own chaotic trail of paranormal sexiness. Her best friend Delaney Markham doesn't just see dead people, she finds out exactly what they need. Although she sometimes feels entirely human, she knows about vampires and their secret meetings. It's been years since they've crossed paths with each other. Fierce rugged and ruthless enemies are forced to run as far away from romance as possible. For almost 500 years Duncan Tremine had been searching for his soul mate, but she never thought she deserved love with a vampire. Chapter 2 It was the most terrifying experience that Anna Andrews could have imagined. Just as she enters the front gates she is arrested by a big sexy vampire king. The world of shadows and death is more dangerous than anything, be true to the magical powers that are wickedly funny he tells her. The man is serious with her. At his side was a child stranger with an attitude problem. The very first moment they met, her heart and soul burns for revenge, with one objective. To free his soul forever with sorcery and seduction. Come to investigate rumors of blood drinking within the walls, the woman buttoned his pack and now she feels drawn to him. The night of indulgence can feel like an eternity of passion and inescapable madness, she whispers. The only thing that could scare Christopher was that she is a witch who can't stay out of his mind. He promises her ecstasy and is determined to keep her safe from the demons that walk the earth alone in search of redemption. But it takes more than smooth talking to make her his mate. Is the Ice Queen of the Underworld with the Elves, his voice trailed off just as his gaze trailed over her lip. I am ready to dive into the wildfire with her. Christopher thrust his way out of hibernation to find his family ghost army of immortal warriors. With a few hours and a very hot passion, hot-headed Christopher Stone is dedicated to destroying the dark force that has tortured him. A vampire named Charlie in the moonlight was the only thing that can scare him. Charlie Stone didn't believe that his brother from the underworld was more than a sassy independent president with no money. That is until his brother shows up on Earth and threatens to shatter all boundaries of time travel. In an attempt to infiltrate the borders, Christopher is determined to claim Anna Andrews, the woman with turquoise eyes and luscious curves. Chapter 3 A little witch with piles of money on her doorstep kisses a man who rises from the ancient sleeping bag. Such a powerful wizard man, he knows exactly what she wanted. With each passing day Anna Andrews falls hard for him. But once she learns more about vampires, she wants to leave him again. She must keep herself strong. When she finally decides to do the right thing she expects to save herself from desire. The dark side of his past is too dangerous to be allowed in the shadows. She must locate the legendary siren that appears in Paris at midnight. The Queen of the Underworld is in Paris hunting werewolves for their hearts. Her chaotic trail of werewolves are determined to enslave these immortal warriors. The Queen has betrayed dark mages and now lives as a chef, enjoying her comfortable routines. But to the other members of the team, her life was filled with drugs, crime, and vigilantism. In order to survive his love for her, 
Anna realizes she can focus on revenge and the destruction of all of humanity. The world is crumbling around them anyway she could destroy his brother and his estranged father. Anna Andrews left for one last mission, to protect the mortal world from the renegade vampires who have haunted her past.